Hi, this is Super Boo 3. Today we are going to start the Ninja World Tournament mode in the Ruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm Revolution. All right! Many ask the question Who is the greatest of all? To find that answer, we will be holding a battle tournament. Those proclaiming to be the greatest, prove yourselves at the Ninja World Tournament. The answer will be made clear. And the greatest will be revealed. Looks like we can choose anyone we like. So I am going to choose the only sensible choice for this, who is obviously Mike Guy. So basically, um, I'm going to be entering tournaments. Um, first, I have to go through the D tournament all the way up to the S rank tournaments. Um, I'm free to walk around the island as I please. Yeah, let's just get this tournament started. We just can get straight for the tournament, I don't see any point in preparing. Let the battle begin! Alright, so we have to hit people to make them lose um, battle orbs. But if you run out of battle orbs, you can knock the person out of the battle. I'm going to take out Yamato first because I think he's the biggest threat. I'm going to use the same tactics I always use, which is just completely get in the opponent's face. I'm not sure if I can use armor jutsu here, I'm going to try. I wouldn't be surprised if they won't let me. Yamato's actually low. I think I can knock him out now. The old woman's actually... Her health is dropping very fast, so I should actually go for her. <laughs> but I forgot how to lock on, so... Um, oh yes, the right stick. So I'll just fight Eno because she's next to me. I don't think this is... Uh, I mean, this is alright how the 
battles are, but um, I don't really like how the cameras doesn't allow me to see everyone. I mean, I guess it gives me a better view of the action, but then you've got the trade-off of um, not being able to see the other character and they can hit you in the back too easily. Guy always comes out top. Okay, so I want to get team guy, to be honest. I'm not really fussed about who I fight with. I actually may well just get Kakashi. Hmm. Oh, come on. can't stand Sakura so I don't want to play as her and I guess I'll have to if that's my only option. Listen. Oh come on. I've already found Sakura, she's over here, just on the other side of the beach. Mm. Okay, I've just cut out a little bit of the video while I tried to work out where Sai was. Um, so basically from where Sakura was, I just ran up here, and he's hiding in this corner over here. Oh, 
Man, oh man. Um. <laughs> He's gonna be messing around, isn't he? <laughs> So I'm not sure where this festival fountain is, so I'm just going to go up um, this mountain here. The same direction I can imagine it'd be in. Maybe this kid here will know. I would have liked if this was someone like Konohamaru instead. Then um, at least uh, it would fit in with um, how the story goes. <laughs> Who's this? Oh, weird. I'm not particularly interested in doing that right now, so I'll just leave that for now. I assume you was going to be up this way then. There's a pink symbol this way. Oh, here he is. Hirota proving that he's a genius as always. I mean, I think it's cool that we get the choice of um, whoever we want, but at the same time it always sucks when you're not referred to as your character when you're playing the game. Why do they? Uh, yeah, that's what I mean. I hate the dialogue. How they don't seem to know me. <laughs> There's a lot of time. There's special conditions for these fights. Uh, so yeah, I chose Neji and Rock Lee as my teammates to fight these guys. Begin. There's no special conditions here, we only have to fight, um, we just have to win the battle. So, what you do is with L1 and R1, you can bring in the other characters to help you. There's no real point in, I mean, you can use it to extend your combos, but personally I prefer using it for when I'm taking damage. Shall I cover for you? Uh, he did a guard break there. Wow. Everything's ready. If you get their en uh, health down low enough, um Oh right, I was about to say um, you can just finish them off, but I also forgot that you see the orange bar under my name. When that fills up, I can do a team up with Jutsu by the looks of things. 
And that means that when I do my move, I can bring in everyone to help me. I would have got a lot more money if I used an ultimate jutsu finish, so that was a bit of an error on my part there. Yeah, and I missed out on the S rank because of it. <laughs> right. I think I might as well just go on to the next round of the tournament because now I've got some allies. Uh, I think that's enough. Uh, I'm going to choose Neji, I think. I'm not, I don't, uh, I I mean, I know a lot of people might want to see Naruto and stuff, but to be honest, um, I think those are the more typical choices, so I'm going to go with uh, just the characters I like the most in the series. Forget the storied ninjas of today. So, who really is the greatest of them all? All eyes are on the Ninja World Tournament. The Ninja World Tournament is about to begin. The tournament will decide the one and only, the greatest. The supreme champion will gain honor and glory beyond all. But of course, they must overcome the trials first. The tournament will be broken into multiple stages. First up is the preliminaries. The preliminaries are broken up into multiple blocks. That way, only the worthy will be selected to move on. Even if it is just the preliminaries, this is still a tournament to determine the greatest. The weak will immediately taste defeat. There are other powerful participants aside from us five Kage. If you aren't serious, you won't climb to the top. That's right! Let me repeat, this is a tournament to determine the greatest. If you truly want to be called the greatest, show us your will and strength. Understand? Good. The Ninja World Tournament begins. Re 
reaching for the top. The Ninja World Tournament begins now! It's pretty cool I introduced it like it's uh, the start of an episode. Um, I've decided what I'll do is any sections where I'm just running around exploring the, the island. The tournament has begun. To be crowned the greatest, one first needs to win through the preliminaries. We can't wait to see the dramatic battles that ensue. Oh, I forgot. My name is Chizune of the Hidden Leaf Village, and I will be the announcer for the tournament. Mabui is here to help as well. We have here with us Shikaku of the Hidden Leaf Village as our guest commentator. Pleased to be here. It's almost time. No holds barred from here on. They'll just have to fight it out now. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, I'll just cut out the sections where I'm um, not really um, doing anything. Uh, I'll show you all the missions and stuff that I do though, in case anyone's interested. I have faith in Niji, I think he can take out those guys. Plus, I actually think Neji's better suited for the uh, team battles. Like the battle begin. An interesting. Uh, multiple people, just because he's got, he'll have um, that uh, 64 trigrams hit or whatever, um, which will hit allow him to hit it multiple people at the same time. I have to use my speed advantage against this guy. I think Sasuke is probably the biggest threat. Um, but at the same time, I think he can actually do a lot of damage to me. I'd rather just not get hit. <laughs> not getting hit seems to be one of the better ways to get cash. Okay, he's just gunning for me now. Oh, I just realised as well, when I use the Jutsu to hit someone, I actually do a lot more damage. And then that in turn allows me to pick up a lot more orbs. Yeah, I think I've won this. No one can deal with the might. Of my guy. Nice fight! Good show! Let the battle begin! I'm walking into this with a huge advantage, so I can't really lose. Not sure if any of you guys, uh, how much you guys followed Naruto, but I always thought one of my favourite fights in the whole thing was when um, Neji fights, I think it's Kidimaru, because I think this guy here is Kimimaru. Kidimaru, I think, was a spider guy. Well, I've already stated that most of my favourite fights are all from the, f uh, my general favourite part of um, Nero was the pre-time skip, which is why a lot of my favourite fights are there. Rekimaru looks weirdly similar to Neji and I didn't realise that until just now. 
I guess it's because they're both pretty pale. Obviously, Orochimaru is like so pale he almost looks like he's dead, but um, I think you know what I mean. Yeah, the zonal power up doesn't actually. Um, sorry, the zonal duty doesn't work just as I expected it to in that context. The preliminaries took a long time, but the blocks have been cleared and the excitement of the preliminary round is finally at an end. So many have participated in the Ninja World Tournament, but only a few have advanced. Congratulations! There's some time to rest until the next stage, so everyone should prepare during this time. And with that, we end our broadcast. We'll see you at the next stage. Goodbye, everyone! Goodbye! Never really got what time period Naruto is meant to be set in because there's things like TVs and monitors. But then everything else seems like it's in the past. Uh, anyway, I think I will end uh, today's video there. Um, next time, I'll keep the video moving at a faster pace and try and just get to where I need to go immediately. Um, I, I can't imagine it will take that long uh, to get through this tournament. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching, and until next time, bye-bye.